Here's the pitch. Hit hard. The ball's heading for the wall. Racing it down as the center fielder, and he makes the catch. How he got to that is beyond me. Ooh, what a play. Every ball player is a mathematician, whether he knows it or not. That's because the key to catching a fly ball is judging where it will land. And to do this, a player must calculate the vertical and lateral velocity of the ball in fractions of a second. After contact, it takes an outfielder a half second to detect if the ball was hit to the left or the right. But if it's hit straight at him, the trajectory of the ball won't be clear for two full seconds. That's because balls hit 250, 300, or 350 feet directly at an outfielder will all appear to have the same angle or rise. Speed and height changes are imperceptible during the first second of flight. And with two seconds gone, the outfielder has less than three seconds to go before the ball lands. Standing 300 feet from home, he doesn't have enough time to catch the ball in front of him or the one hit over his head. So unless he factors in other clues, this job would be next to impossible. An experienced outfielder watches the pitch, examines the batter's swing, and listens for the crack of the bat to determine where he needs to be. In fractions of a second, these observations are processed and matched to past experiences, giving him the time he needs to make the catch. So experience trumps any magic formula for catching the ball. Until it's safely in his glove, the player must continually recalculate his path to the ball and determine when and where to stick out his glove to make the catch. So, in reality, the laws of physics may help you understand how a ball will fly, but only practice can help you figure out where it will land.